Hello everyone. Today's tutorial is a brown smoky eye using Burberry eyeshadows. Now if you observe the Burberry Beauty promotional pictures, you'll notice that the eyeshadow is deliberately effortless with a heavy and hazy lower lash line. My look is similar, but I've printed it up with a bubblegum lip and cheek. I think it's unexpected and fun and I hope you enjoy. Onto the tutorial. I've gone ahead and filled in my brows. They are now looking quite full and textured, which mirrors the Burberry A aesthetic. I drew the genetic short straw with my brows, so to inject them with some substance and length, I've used the Suku brow pen. And to achieve that textured look, I use the MAC brow set in Show Off. Next, I'm going to apply my base. I'm using the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. And I actually prefer to apply this foundation with my fingers as I find that the heat from my hands really helps to melt and blend the foundation into the skin. This foundation provides a medium coverage and a very velvet finish which is quite skin like. I think it would be suitable for most skin types except those who are very dry or perhaps those who are sensitive to alcohols, as this is quite an alcohol heavy formula. I'm going to start the eyes now and complete the base later, so the fallout isn't an issue. The two Burberry eyeshadows I'll be using today are Burberry Midnight Brown, which is a medium cocoa shade infused with warm shimmer. Also Burberry Taut Brown, which can be described as a deep grade brown. This shade reads quite neutral and matte to my eye. I've applied a bit of MAC Painterly Paint Pot just to give the eyeshadow something to cling to. I'm then going to take Midnight Brown on a dense packing brush and I'm going to confine that shimmery shade to the lid only. I'm also going to run that rather roughly on the lower lash line. Then taking Burberry Taut Brown on a fluffy crease brush, I'm going to build some depth in the socket. I'm going to blend upwards a little further than I normally would and in quite a rounded shape, so not particularly winged out at the edge. Taking the same fluffy crease brush, I'm going to run taut brown underneath the eye on the lower lash line. I'm taking this quite far down to create that grungy, iconic Burberry look. Don't worry if this starts to look messy because A, it's meant to be messy and B, you can always perfect it when you go to do your under eye concealer. Carrying on, I'm going to take a brown pencil liner and I'm going to run that on the upper lid, really aiming to get as close to the lashes as I can. I'm also going to take that brown pencil on the lower lash line, about two thirds in, so keep that inner third untouched. Taking a soft, precise brush, I'm going to dab that brush in taut brown, just a little bit, and I'm going to diffuse that lower liner just so that it appears hazy and undefined.
The Burberry visual indicates a whisper of highlight in the inner corner. It looks like a pale barley shade and to emulate this I'm going to be using Rouge Bunny Rouge Golden Rear. So just very lightly placing that in the inner corner and in the inner third. Next I'm going to take a black pencil liner and line my upper waterline. This is just to fake fuller lashes. Really aim to get between the lashes when you do this. As always, curl your lashes and apply your mascara. And that's the eyes done. I'm going to clean any fallout with my Bioderma Craline, which I love for this purpose because it doesn't leave an oily residue. At this point, you can also correct your eyeshadow and take off a bit if you feel like you've brought it too far down. I want to retain that drama, so I'm just going to take off any fallout on the direct cheek area. Then I'm going to take an under eye concealer just in the inner corner so that I don't disrupt that dramatic lower lash line. So being very careful not to erase that haziness. Now for the bubblegum lips and cheeks. I'm going to be using a multi-purpose product by Becca and this is called Beach Tint in shade Lychee. In short, it is a slightly viscous liquid that can be used to stain either the lips or the cheeks. I absolutely love this formula. It has quite a high silicon content, so it blends effortlessly. So I'm just gonna take a bit of that product on the back of my hand, and I'm going to blend that onto the cheeks using a dabbing motion. Go in pretty slowly with this product because it's easier to add more than it is to take away. I'm also going to apply that beach tint on my lips using my finger. A little bit more liberally than I did my cheeks. Last step. The Burberry models have beautifully chiseled bone structure, so I'm going to mimic that with a bit of contour. I'm using a powder contour today. This is Chanel Notorious, which was sadly limited edition, but you could use any cool contour powder, like NYX Taut Blusher or the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. I should mention that I'm not going to powder my face because the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua dries down to quite a velvety finish anyways. So I'm going to take a small brush, dip it into a bit of that contour powder, and I'm going to start with the hollows of my cheekbones. So very lightly shading, and I'm blending upwards. Avoid blending down at all because this can actually draw the face down. Also going to run a little bit of that contour on the outer hairline just to provide some balance. I'm also going to take a bit of that contour on the outer jaw. I'm going through this rather quickly because contouring is a separate video entirely but if you would like to hear more then comment in the section below and let me know. I shall see what I can do. And there we have our Burberry inspired look with a twist. Heavy lower lash lines may not be everyone's cup of tea but experiment and play with it and make it yours. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I shall see you later.